Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we are talking about Houston cornerback Isaiah Johnson in terms of his analytics profile. Uh, today, also, we have a special thanks to my one of my Patreon subscribers, Lamont Runsu, who suggested this player to me. Um, as a courtesy, all Patreon subscribers uh, will be giving dibs, if you will, in terms of player profile requests on this channel. Uh, it's only right to give that added benefit because you guys are obviously contributing to this channel a lot more um, than uh, everyone else. So as a special thanks to him for suggesting that player. And if you are a Patreon subscriber and you have some players that you want to see on this channel, uh, just uh, leave a comment either on my Twitter or you could also go to the Patreon page and leave a comment about any player requests that you may have. Uh, with all that out of the way, if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So let's get to his production profile. So first off, uh, he had a 73.90 solo tackle score and a 22.97 pass deflection score. Um, his data isn't necessarily that poor from a solo tackle perspective, um, because as you can clearly see, he's above the bottom and threshold <clears throat> in terms of all pro potential and pro bowl potential. When it comes to solo tackle data and when you look at the averages at the position he's above the pro bowl average when it comes to solo tackle data however his pass deflection data is where he runs into most of his issues 22.97 it's just not that impressive uh, when you look at it in regards to all the other areas and he does pass at least above the bottom and threshold for pass deflection data at the cornerback position he just doesn't get anywhere near the averages in terms of 78.34 or 70.21 uh, respectively when it comes to all pro versus pro bowl averages at the pass deflection area. Now, when you look at his athleticism data, this is where he really shines. Uh, you know, he had a 94.13 uh, explosive lower body strength score, a 93.80 speed score, and also had a above 90 percentile uh, flexibility score as well. Um, so, and when you look at the all pro thresholds, the pro bowl thresholds, and even the averages at the position, He's essentially above all those areas. He's above the all-pro thresholds, the Pro Bowl thresholds, and he's also above the averages at the cornerback position when it comes to his athleticism data. So he's a really, really impressive athlete. And surprisingly, when I did a production comp, so one of the new things I'm going to be doing in my videos is doing sort of a, a production comp and an athleticism comp. And when you look at him, his production comp is actually D'Angelo Hall. Uh, D'Angelo Hall is a little bit of an outlier, of course, because, you know, his pass deflection data was in the similar area as Isaiah Johnson, but this is still a player that could very much become that because of his athleticism data, uh, because, again, he's a great, great athlete, just as D'Angelo Hall was a fantastic athlete, athlete as well, and when you look at the athleticism scores of uh, Joseph Jefferson, um, he's kind of the nearest sort of athlete to Isaiah Johnson as well when it comes to his overall athleticism. Uh, but the bottom line is when it comes to Isaiah Johnson, while his production data is troublesome, you know, this is not necessarily someone that you should take in the first round of the NFL draft. This is definitely someone that from a developmental standpoint uh, should have good things in the future for him if he goes to the right team that knows how to utilize them and develop them. So I would say in this particular draft, if your team drafts Isaiah Johnson, I think you're getting... Um, a good amount of value uh, because of his uh, ability when it comes to athleticism and the fact that his solo tackle data was at least above average and uh, I think he has a good shot to at least become a long-term starter at the NFL level. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, please sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification bell in case you want to be reminded when another video of mine drops. And also check out my Patreon page as well, uh, which is going to be linked in the description. So you can go to that page and donate to this channel. Uh, and like I said before, if you have any player requests, uh, the dibs, the, the people that are actually Patreon subscribers will be the first to be served when it comes to that sort of stuff. So uh, be sure to check all that other information and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.